One, two, three. Hello and welcome to Boracay. Since it was my birthday, we decided to book a special hotel where we'll be spending the next days. Good morning and welcome to another video here in the Philippines. We are here in Boracay and we're gonna show you one of the most beautiful hotels in the whole Philippines and definitely one of the most beautiful hotels here in Boracay. We are at the gym and storytelling, like, yes, it's here. I didn't have uh, sneakers because I lost my sneakers, but they have sneakers for you, which is amazing. So they just borrowed me some sneakers and yeah. Done. Now I go for breakfast. Yeah. That's why I trained to go for breakfast. <laughs> birthday you missed the song guys sorry happy birthday to you oh. let me see the cake wow i'm getting old 29 so Mori, how excited are you from one to ten for this breakfast now a hundred <laughs> i quickly checked the sweet part and it's amazing look at this guys you have a donut wall <laughs> just take it's unbelievable it's out of this world, this breakfast. So good. Guys, so far everything is perfect here. It's a beautiful day. The water is crystal clear. There is almost no wind. It's super warm. The breakfast was... was oh my God. You know, I, I, we've been to a lot of hotels, also very good hotels around the world. And I have to say that uh, the variety of this breakfast is definitely the biggest I've ever seen. Amade, how is your birthday so far? Well, I couldn't ask for a better birthday, to be very honest. I'm so happy. I, I'm really in, I think, the happiest uh, year moment of my life. I have everything I could ever wished for and much, much more. I'm in this beautiful place, I married the love of my life, <laughs> I have uh, the best family I could wish for, it's really, I'm very happy, as you can see. I think no one would be sad in a place like this as well. We spent our morning at the beach, this was actually our favorite one because it was further away from the main pool, so less crowded. And this is me going to the spa. The hotel offers a buggy service so you can get from A to B, which is very convenient because the hotel is quite big. Just had the best massage ever. The spa here is really, really good. So you, each person has its own villa at the spa to get ready, there's a jacuzzi, a garden, really really good, the massage was wonderful, it was like a signature Philippine massage with banana leaf, and now we chilled a bit at the pool, guys really, oh, it doesn't look real, and now we're gonna go for an ice cream, and I'm very happy, <laughs> I don't know if you noticed <laughs> This is really such a happy birthday. There's an ice cream bar. What are you eating? Uh, I have the coconut and chocolate. Good morning guys yesterday we didn't film the dinner but we really enjoyed we went to a restaurant here that's called Rima if I'm not mistaken but I'm gonna write it down and it was so so good I'm gonna leave some pictures so you can see time to pack guys we get a lot of questions regarding our luggage and this is it we have a cabin suitcase and an extra large one. They are amazing, super resistant and very light. Also, you can charge your phone on the cabin suitcase, so no more trying to find the plug at the airport. We have this big suitcase and um, half is my side and half is the other. Sometimes I put some things on his part. I can give you actually a very good tip. It's um, 
to have these bags either if you're traveling for a long time or not it's really useful you can divide your clothes you can put like here more dressed up clothes on the other one more beach clothes on the other one pajamas whatever you want and if you need something you don't need to go through the whole luggage to find it you know exactly where to find your things so one big advantage of this hotel of shangri-la is that they offer you a complimentary airport transfer because the airport is not on the island itself you need to take a speed boat and we took the public one because we first checked into another hotel and it's a hustle guys i tell you we waited like 25 minutes 30 minutes it was a huge line and if you stay here they offer you the service of picking you up at the airport so they pick you up directly at the airport with a direct transfer to the jetty of the hotel itself so you don't go to the public jetty and then take another uh, another tuk-tuk or, or car or whatever this is very very nice and also the way back they offer you it's included in the in the hotel price we had and we're definitely gonna use it for the way back. General conclusions about our stay. I think Janning already told you about the perk of having the shuttle service from and back to the airport. So if you're coming, I would advise you to just check out that option if your hotel has that option because that's the best. And then another thing is that the main beach in Boracay is quite busy. It's really, really crowded. There's a lot of people, very touristic. So if you come to Boracay, another tip that I would give you is to try to find a hotel that has a private beach or shares a beach with another two or three hotels, which happens here as well. But uh, for example, Shangri-La has one private beach and one beach that shares with another two hotels. So you have two options of two different beaches that you can go and it's less crowded and Boraga has many beautiful beach but if it's too crowded I think you won't enjoy as much so also check that out about like the whole stay in Shangri-La from 0 to 10 I would say a 9 because um, it's really really nice everything was almost perfect but the fact that it's a big hotel and there are a lot of people I would prefer to have a little bit less crowds. Also on the breakfast, it's, it's loud, but it's, it's a very little detail. That's why I cannot give a full 10. I would also say nine because um, I also prefer smaller hotels. And also I think we missed one thing because um, when we arrived, we didn't have like a proper tour. And then, so the first day we were a little bit lost, like, where is this and where is that and it's quite a big of a hotel so that's uh, I think that's what we missed after that when we found ourselves like where is this beach and where is the other beach everything got uh, much better do you prefer El Nido or Boracay? El Nido is more like adventure going on trips going on this tower experience and it's more for younger people and in Boracay it's just to chill it's to to be at the same on the same spots, go to a nice hotel, rent an apartment, go to the beach, and be more chill. It's for everyone that wants to relax or work and relax and just stay at the same place. This is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. We had a blast here. It was the perfect way to celebrate my birthday. Don't forget to subscribe, um, activate the notifications, comment here if you like this video and see you on the next one. Bye.